Do you want to produce videos quicker and make more money while doing it? Then stop spending an unnecessary amount of hours editing. Here are five tips that will help you edit up to 10 times faster. The best thing about these tips is it doesn't matter what software you use. They apply to all of them. So let's get into it. Tip number one is to stay organized. Please do not be a download folder king. Before you even import anything into your editing software, you should create a project folder. Within this folder, create more subfolders for your footage, graphics, sound effects, music, and your exported videos videos. Over the course of your edit, put all your assets into their respective folders. Not only will this help you find everything quicker and easier, it will also help prevent many frustrating obstacles like the dreaded now you shouldn't just organize your assets on your hard drive, but you should also organize them within your editing software as well. To do this, I've created a Premiere project template that I put in all my project folders. If I open it up and go into project manager, you can see that I have folders to put all my assets in. And don't worry about going through the work to create your own template like this. My personal editing template is free to download in the description down below, so go check it out. Tip number two is to have a plan. Once you make it into post-production, the number one thing you want to avoid is doing everything all at once once. What I mean by this is importing one clip at a time, adding b-roll, sound effects, music, a color grade, and then finally moving on to the next clip. Even just explaining this out loud sounds slow. On the other hand, having an editing plan will help you accomplish all the phases of editing one at a time, which will keep you working efficiently. If you don't know how to construct an editing plan, follow mine as a template. First, I import all my footage and audio and I organize it. Then I will synchronize the audio with my footage and cut it up to create my a-roll. I then add music, then I'll add b-roll with sound effects. And finally, I finish each video with some color grading and it's off to the export queue. You may find it helpful to take my plan and change it according to your needs. And that's totally okay. It all depends on the content you are making. The process to edit a music video is much different than the process to edit a commercial. The most important part is you find what works for you and you stick with it. Tip number three is to use keyboard shortcuts. Editing without keyboard shortcuts is like eating rice one grain at a time. It just doesn't work. On the other hand, editing with keyboard shortcuts is like eating rice with this. It's quicker and obviously much easier. If you haven't took the time to learn the keyboard shortcuts for your editing software, please do it. In the meantime, here are some of my favorites to help you out. Ripple Delete. Ripple Delete is extremely useful when skimming through footage. It allows you to make two edits, one at the beginning and end of your clip, and then delete it. The nice thing about Ripple Delete is it shifts all the later clips on your timeline to fill the empty space, so you still have one continuous clip. Navigational Shortcuts. If you are still using the sliders to navigate your timeline, Line, please stop. Something I like to do is to bind the minus and equal sign shortcuts, which are used to zoom in and out on my timeline, to the side buttons on my mouse. Those in combination with the scroll wheel allow me to navigate my entire timeline extremely quickly. Now there are so many more useful shortcuts, so let me know in the comments if you want me to make a full video dedicated on the best shortcuts. Moving on to tip number four, stop rewatching your edits. This is something we are all guilty of, and I get it, we want to admire our work, especially when we just put together a nice edit with beautiful transitions and a crisp sound design, but the moment I disciplined myself not to do this, I was so much more focused when editing, which allowed me to complete projects in days or hours and not weeks. Now if you're lost with where you want to take your video, don't be afraid to go back and rewatch it. Just don't do this too many times. Finally, this brings us to tip number five. Take advantage of stock footage and motion graphic templates. Now I know this sounds like an intro to a Storyblocks ad, it's not, but seriously, there are tons of resources out there to get free stock footage like VidEasy, Videvo, Pixabay, and many more. Not only will this make your video more engaging, it will also save you tons of time because you won't have to edit and film your own b-roll. Remember, these tips don't do you any good if you don't apply them. It's great that you're watching this video, it shows that you care, but you should be spending more time practicing your craft rather than digesting content about it. So choose to implement maybe one or two of these tips in your next edit, then revisit this video later on to remind yourself of the other tips. That's it from me, please consider subscribing. Peace.